bowl season is here. Moving on to Wednesday afternoon, we got Kansas versus Arkansas uh, in the Liberty Bowl. Uh, seeing the Hogs is a slight three point favorite uh, in this spot. That's down. I think they opened closer to a five point favorite. So, seeing some love for the Jayhawks in this spot. Uh, total, as you might expect, is pretty high at 68 and a half. And really, that's kind of where I'm going to focus on this game. Uh, I did play this over the 68 and a half as an official. One unit play. I will say, typically with a team like Kansas, that's objective offensively is to you know really play at a snail's pace. Really wouldn't want to be on an over at this number. But with that said, I think both of these defenses are in such dire shape, and I think both these offenses very well equipped to take advantage. That I don't understand why this number doesn't start with a seven. I do think the mismatch on each side is that extreme, and so we'll kind of get into it on the Kansas side. This is an offense that ranked top ten in yards per play this year. You know, it really all starts up front. Just eight sacks allowed all year, so less than one sack per game. They're really good up front. They paved the way in the run game for Devin Neal. Six and a half yard per carry back, over 1,000-yard rusher. And as we know, I mean, both quarterbacks for the Jayhawks, Jalen Daniels, Jason Bean, have played very well this year. I mean, Jason Bean in backup duty was at nine and a half yards per attempt. Jalen Daniels was similar, did struggle towards the end of the year, you know, probably forced his way back too early from that injury, but with, with with basically a month to prepare for this game, I think we're going to get a pretty good effort out of Daniels in this spot. And, you know, just with the physicality in the Kansas run game, it's worked all year. And I really think it's going to work in this matchup uh, to a pretty high degree. This Arkansas defense is in bad shape. Defensive coordinator Barry Odom off to UNLV. Uh, their top two linebackers, Bumper Poole, Drew Sanders, opted out. This secondary really all year has just lacked difference-making talent. And so – when they step up in competition, they don't play well. It's really that simple. Even with Poole, even with Sanders, that linebacker, let's not forget, this, this team allowed 500 yards on the ground to Ole Miss late in the season. So this is not a good defense by any means. Now you don't have your coordinator. Now you don't have some of your best players on that side of the ball. I know Kansas is a pretty slow-paced team, but they've also put up 35 or more on five separate Power 5 opponents this year. This is a team that's very efficient offensively. They're multiple and, and quite frankly, I think they should have their way against this Arkansas defense. On the other side, uh, I love K.J. Jefferson. I think he might be one of the most underrated players in college football. He was great in 2021, struggled with injuries a bit this year, and I think that really hurt the Hogs. Big reason why they are 6-6, six and six. but with him in there, he's a true dual-threat guy. Over 500 yards on the ground, 8.7 yards per attempt through the air. He was at 9 yards per attempt last year, so lots of sample size there. When you pair him with Rocket Sanders in the run game, another guy that's right around six and a half yards per carry, I think he's over 1,400 yards this year. Much like Kansas, very multiple offense. They can beat you and create explosive plays in multiple ways. Uh, this Kansas defense sucks. Their offense was you know, quite good, as I said. Big reason why they're in a bowl game. Uh, this Kansas defense, though, is much like many of the defenses we've seen from them here over the last 10 years or so. Can't stop the run. Can't stop the pass. You know, I could really go deeper into that, but it's really that simple. You know, last three games allowed 47 points per game to Texas Tech, Texas, and Kansas State. Like I said, I usually like to get pace from both sides. I will say with Arkansas running at pace, that kind of negates some of my worries about Kansas slowing down the tempo of this game and this matchup. The riot of it is I don't see a path to stops for either side. These are two multiple offenses that – can beat you on the ground, beat you in the vertical passing game. And, and the, both these defenses, in their back seven in particular, in very dire shape at the moment. So I think this game does get played in the 70s. As far as a side, I think you make a pretty good case for either. With Arkansas, You know, I think they could be a little bit undervalued due to the fact that when they didn't have K.J. Jefferson, they were an atrocious football team. But with Kansas, just with their offensive line, that repeatability in running the football, I really just don't see much value in playing a side because both these defenses stink. It's not worth trying to guess which one stinks less. Uh, I'm taking the over here, 68 and a half. That's my official one unit play uh, here in this matchup.